的好吗 ？Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Growing Up with Chinese. 欢迎大家收看《成长汉语》。All good things come to an end at some point, don't they? Now, in a way, that's what qualifies them as good. If they never ended, there would never be anything bad, and if bad didn't exist, good wouldn't either. Have I made your head spin? Well, Wang Shushu's vacation in Beijing is finally up, and he has to head back to Shanghai today. So now, let's head over to the train station and see what kind of goodbyes are being spoken, shall we?你看你才来几天就忙着回去嫂子我已经够麻烦你们的了非常感谢千万别这么说我们都是一家人还说什么麻烦不麻烦的你嫂子说的对包南下次再来北京一定要在家多住几天对对下次叔叔在我家住上两
，还说什么麻烦不麻烦的？你嫂子说的对，王楠，下次再来北京一定要在家多住几天。我们一起去香山照红叶。We can go to the fragrant hills together and photograph all the red leaves. Xiangshan is fragrant hills, and it's a beautiful area of Beijing where fall foliage is especially gorgeous. Hong means red, and Ye means leaves, so Hong Ye is red leaves. Your head is completely full of photography now. Nauzi means head or brain, and Man Nauzi is your entire head or all of your brain. The only thing you can think of is photography. Xiaoming really does have a natural gift for photography. Tianfu means talent or natural gift. So, Xiaoming Tianfu refers to a natural gift or talent for photography. Next, Xu Xu will stay at my house for two months. We'll go to Xiangshan to photograph the leaves. Come on, boy. Now, my mind is all about photography. Son, don't say that Xiaoming has a little talent for photography. Thank you, Xu Xu. Xiaoming, when you're off, let your dad and mom take you to my house to play. Xu Xu can take you to Shanghai to many fun places. Really? That's great. Do you have a good place to take you to Shanghai? That's too many. For example, the Chinese Minju Tower. 外滩啊，城隍庙啊，对了，我们还可以去周庄拍照。路上多加小心，一路平安。Be extra careful on the road and safe travels. 一路平安 is a set saying in Chinese that literally translates as "May your whole trip be safe and well." In other words, safe travels. You can hear people say this all the time in China when someone is about to travel somewhere. So it's a very good phrase to know. 一路平安，你们也多保重。You guys take care also. 王楠，路上多加小心，一路平安。好的，哥哥，嫂子，你们放心吧。到了上海，给我们来个电话。好的，你们也多保重。小明，好好学习啊！叔叔等着听你的好成绩。哈哈，我一定努力。啊，对了，叔叔，你晚上要好好睡觉，不然的话，明天会打瞌睡的。All right, so let's take a look at today's vocabulary. 天赋 natural gift, talent, 天赋保重 take care of oneself, 保重努力 make great efforts, try hard, exert oneself, 努力打瞌睡 doze off, be sleepy. Today we're going to be looking at a radical that means a piece of cloth. Jin, so it looks like this: a piece of cloth. Does it look like a piece of cloth to you? <laughs> Now we see this as a radical in the Chang of Fei Chang. So let's take a look at this character. 长 All right. Now here, a radical Jin appears at the bottom section of our character, but the Jin radical can appear on the left side of a character as well. So here are a few more examples: Dai, bring, belt, ribbon, bang, help, assist, mao, hat. Now, Beijing actually has a cricket market. It's fabulous. You have to go at the right time of the year, but if it is cricket season, which is、uh, roughly from July to November, the market is bustling. There are all kinds of crickets for sale, like fighting crickets, sweet-sounding crickets, big crickets, small crickets. It's a sight you will never forget. And apart from selling actual crickets, people sell all kinds of cricket things. Things like different kinds of cages. Now, a typical traditional cricket cage resembles a clay pot. 
You can't see inside unless you take the lid off. So these cages aren't as popular these days as plastic ones that have clear tops and maybe clear sides. Now they might be partitioned into a few rooms so the cricket has different spaces to sit in, or they might be equipped with a side that functions like a magnifying glass so you can see your cricket up close. Now apart from cages, cricket tools are also sold at the cricket market. My favorite tool looks like a chopstick with a feather ball on one end. This is used to move the cricket around without hurting it. So think of something like a tickler. When you clean your cricket's cage, you use the tickler to move it from its dirty cage to a temporary one. There was a radio show I heard not too long ago about a Swedish man who first came to China in the 1970s as a student and got into crickets. So much so that he created a cricket orchestra. I've heard the music before, it's incredible. And you might be hard pressed to guess that the music is the sound of over 700 crickets, all in one orchestra. Anyway, all in all, crickets are fabulous, low maintenance pets that people all over China absolutely adore. It's language point time, everyone. And to begin with, let's take a look at a pattern. Tai something jiu. Now, it's similar to the only already pattern in English. Now, this pattern expresses surprise at the results or resulting situation of something that happened in a short period of time or something that happened under specific circumstances. So typically, tai is followed by a time-related or action-related phrase. And jiu is followed by the results or resulting situation. So Xiaoming's mom said to Wang Shu Shu, You've only been here a few days and already you're busy with leaving. Xiaoming, Xiaoming, Ah, is like saying 一定不要 or don't even or must not. Don't even say that or you must not say that. You must not think about it anymore or don't even think about it. Pretty straightforward, no? Let's look at a few more examples just to make sure you all get it. 小明,我明天去上海出差。妈,您千万别忘带身份证。这件事,你千万别告诉兰兰。好的。比如, this is just like the English, for example, Wang Shushu said in today's dialogue, 比如说东方明珠电视塔, for example, the Pearl of the Orient TV Tower. Now, if you notice in this example, Wang Shushu says, 比如说, which is pretty much the same as saying, 比如, both work for setting the stage for some examples. 你会说几种语言? 好几种呢? 比如说英语, 德语, 法语, 韩语. 你喜欢什么运动? 很多啊, 比如说打篮球, 踢足球, 跑步, We've reached our finish line, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode of Growing Up with Chinese. 别忘了上我们的网页看一看. Don't forget, you can always visit our website for clarification or to send us any questions or comments you might have about what we covered today or any other day. Chinese can get quite complicated, so make sure to take advantage of all the resources that are out there. Thanks for joining us. 大家加油! Good luck with your Chinese studies. 我们下次节目再见. See you all next time.